The world of science fiction is endless, and there's no shortage of new stories to tell, but sometimes the best sci-fi stories on television are the ones you've never heard of. Set in a small German town, Dark is a sci-fi thriller where strange supernatural occurrences have exposed secrets hiding in the closets of several families. Hi, Nanny. Hi, Grampy. More than living up to its title, the show includes scenes of adultery, kidnapping, and homicide. Plus, it's all set against the backdrop of time travel. This Netflix series is a slow burn, and at times, the physics of Dark's time travel can be a little hard to follow. But when it all comes into focus, the emotional impact of the larger storyline is worth every second of the journey. Welcome to the future. Fans of Superman will find many reasons to binge sci-fi's prequel series Krypton. Set two generations before the destruction of the Man of Steel's home planet, the show focuses on Superman's grandfather and on the choices he must make to ensure his grandson's future survival. In its second season, Krypton started introducing some DC fan favorites into the mix, including Lobo, an intergalactic bounty hunter in the same gritty vein as Marvel's Wolverine and Punisher, only much cooler. Please stop, you're making me blush. Although most comic book geeks already know how the story turns out, Sci-Fi has found a way to deliver enough surprises to keep even the most hardcore superfans guessing at what will happen next. The Expanse is based on a series of novels by James S. A. Corey and follows a group of future anti-heroes in a space-colonized world on the verge of war. Often compared to Battlestar Galactica, The Expanse is a sort of space opera that not only delivers a compelling story, but benefits from special effects that don't feel like they belong on basic cable. Luckily, if you didn't get a chance to catch the show before it was canceled by Sci-Fi, another network is giving the series a second life. Following a huge Save the Expanse social media campaign, Amazon stepped in and picked up the show. We just dodged a massive bullet. In Netflix's The Society, a group of teens return to their hometown to discover that it's been mysteriously dropped into the middle of nowhere, with no adults, no outside resources, and worst of all, no internet. What? Nah, come on. Thrown into a reality where technology no longer exists, these teens not only need to adapt, they need to grow up far faster than anyone should. Like a mashup between Lord of the Flies and Lost, the society says as much about humanity as it does about technology. The OA feels like nothing else that's come before it. The show centers on a young woman who reappears after having been kept in captivity for seven years. But unlike most captives, she has the ability to travel through parallel dimensions. This supernatural sci-fi thriller is packed with surprises, from questioning its main character's mental state to throwing a huge curveball at the end of its sophomore run. The OA has taken nearly every twist and turn a proper science fiction series can take, including a guest spot from a telepathic octopus. What is this? I just do lights, bro. Unfortunately, future episodes won't be twisting and turning on Netflix. The streaming service decided to end its involvement with the series after its second season. But with a Save the OA campaign in full swing, one never knows when or where the show might resurface. Despite a few surface similarities to Rick and Morty, Final Space is a show all its own. This animated sci-fi comedy on Adult Swim is the demented brainchild of Olin Rogers, with a little help from executive producer Conan O'Brien. It's centered on the space adventures of Gary Godspeed and his planet-destroying alien friend Mooncake. Along for the ride is a ragtag group of intergalactic characters, ranging from a cat-like bounty hunter to a robot companion voiced by Fred Armisen. Hey Gary, my name is Kevin. I'm your Deep Space Insanity Avoidance Companion. Nice to meet you. I already hate you. The show's lighthearted tone perfectly balances its often thoughtful storylines. While it may take a few episodes to sort things out, it's worth the trip and trippiness to see it through. Imagine if the Chronicles of Narnia and Harry Potter were written for adults. The result would be Sci-Fi's The Magicians. This intelligent, fun, and remarkably relevant series deals with complex themes while dropping pop culture references at every turn. You watched Battlestar, right? Yeah, I love when they do terrorism allegory with mostly white people. It's from the creative mind of Sarah Gamble, who spent over a decade on the CW Supernatural. The overall tone of the show is similar to Supernatural, but The Magicians deals with more adult subject matter, and it does so in a way that's conscious and inclusive, while also throwing in the occasional epic magic battle. The premise of Future Man sounds a lot like something that would have been featured in a 1960s TV show. An underachieving janitor travels back in time to save the world. But in the hands of Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, this simple time travel comedy turns into a brilliant, star-studded misadventure that pays homage to our greatest sci-fi films. The Matrix. Back to the Future. Star Wars. Terminator. Mad Max. 
Despite the show's second season receiving a 100% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, Deadline announced in April 2019 that Future Man would call it quits after its third season on Hulu. While Future Man might soon be a thing of the past, it's guaranteed to go out with a bang, and just might save the world in the process. Philip K. Dick's Electric Dreams features an approach to anthology storytelling similar to Black Mirror. Where the Amazon series differs is in its more optimistic outlook on the future. Drawing from various short stories by the man who created Blade Runner and the Man in the High Castle, Electric Dreams doesn't actually believe the future is without hope. The future ain't what it used to be. Delivering stories that span vastly different time periods, the series creates extraordinarily diverse settings that explore technology in wildly different ways. The result is modern, but also tangible. Electric Dreams feels like a reality that could actually happen, and that isn't such a bad thing. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about sci-fi shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.